Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Friday here in Oregon. It's a beautiful day. It's about 70 degrees. Breeze is blowing. And it's just one of those nice temperate days here. And Monday it's supposed to be 90 degrees. So anyway, we'll take what we can get, right? Um, today I've got a real short video and I wanted to show you I, this may not, may or may not be new to some people, but this company, War Games Atlantic, came out with a box of uh, World War One plastic miniatures. There's 28 millimeter figures. There's 30 of them for a box, and this is for the Great War. So you'll see German infantry, 1916, 1918. Um, this, while yes, this is predominantly true, but I want to show you something that's actually kind of unique about this sprue. If you'll notice here, this gentleman's wearing a pickle hob uh, helmet. And you'll see the pictures here, uh, you know, the regular late war style helmet. And this guy's actually wearing a field cap. Show you the back side here. So this actually gives you the option of making figures that go all the way back to the beginning of the war instead of just the late war. And I'll show you what I mean. So again, this is War Games Atlantic. So here's the sprue. Okay. All these heads are separate. And you can see these guys are all in Kepi. These guys have the late war helmet and gas masks. But here's the early war style with the pickle halb on the back of it. You can see it focusing on my finger there. And there's actually enough heads to do all 30 like early war Germans. Now, uh, as some people who've been longtime watchers of my videos know, I hate putting together plastic figures. I cannot stand it. And um, these were no exception, although they're pretty much unlike some plastic figures, right? They're, uh, you know, the body's pretty all one piece. There's no heads and tors uh bodies and torsos to put together and things like that. The biggest problem is the arms that I had with this. And you'll see here, all right, there are different styles of arms here and here, okay? Depending on the type of rifle you put on, you can actually focus in on this here. You see this one here has a hand, right? Well, now you have to attempt to try to match the pose of where this gun is sitting and this guy's whatever arm you're going to use. Okay? Now, since I don't typically, typically like doing a regular unboxing, I'm not going to go through every sprue. All the sprues basically look like this. But what I did do is I did put one together and painted them up like a late war or sorry, early war German. Okay. And if I can focus in enough on it. Okay. So painting them up real nice, crisp detail. It wasn't any flash at all on any of the figures. A couple of mold lines here and there to kind of scrape off, but other than that, nice and nice and easy to deal with. You see how this guy is holding his rifle kind of across his chest, right? I had to go through three different arms to find one that would actually match the pose on the figure. And even when I did find the right arm to match this, 
it didn't match his hand. So I, that kind of stuff is what kind of bothers me about plastic figures. Right? It didn't match. Um, I'd almost prefer them to make them all one piece. That's why I tend to buy uh, metal figures. But to be honest with you, with the availability of what you can do with this set, so you can make uh, figures for essentially any part of the war, okay, that wasn't a bad value, right? So you get 30 figures in this box, right, for any portion of the war. So just a real quick review. And the only thing that also didn't kind of, didn't make sense to me. You notice here, like it says uh, here, like A1, right? F1. I couldn't find corresponding, you know, like A1, A2. That didn't quite fit either for the pose. I don't know if that's the way it was supposed to work, but it just didn't quite work. But then again, I also have a love-hate relationship with plastic figures. So, you know, your your mileage may vary when it comes to putting these things together if you decide to go with them. Uh, so there's that. And then also, I just wanted to show you something. And um, I think Gav will get a nice kick out of this. Because um, in his last video, he was talking about... Uh, stuff that I paint and things like that. So what I thought I'd show you, see if I can actually bring this up and out far enough. This way, since this box is so big. So, hey Gav, I'm gonna try to put this 1 16th scale French Renault FT-17 tank together by Tacom. So we're gonna see how that goes. <laughs> wish me luck anyway so that's a new project i'll be working on over the next uh i don't know however long it takes me to actually put this together but anyway there's that so again i just thought i'd show you guys a real quick review of these figures uh by war games atlantic uh they do have i think british and french figures as well um I'll put a link to their site down in the description so you can take a look at them if you're interested. So there's these, really not a bad bargain, 30 hard plastic 28 millimeter figures and really covers the entire war. This is, you know, even though it says 1916, 1918, that's not 100% true. You can do early war figures with this. So anyway, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I've been watching videos, even though I haven't been able to comment a whole lot uh, last few days, over the last week or so, but uh, I have been watching, folks. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you have a lovely weekend, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.